Hey everyone, welcome. Oh yes. Welcome to another exciting episode. Yes. Yes. I feel it real fun. So oh you, you're trying to trick me. Me? You put May 23rd questions. It's May 22nd. See? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like that, everyone. I said. believe it is. Yes, it is. It's the 22nd of May. Your questions answered live. That your is, manifesting questions answered live. That's right, everyone. On a feel it real fun, exciting episode. Triple D, John Mance, Triple D, Tony cool. Doyle, Triple D, Durant, Grant oh, Monk. Grandma. Look at all these Triple D, Scott Sizzle, oh, yeah, y'all. Sizzler. <laughs> cool. So, go Welcome to <clears throat> com. That's right. Join us in manifestingmasterycourse.com. Oh my God, yeah. Like, you know, it's 90 days. 90 days. Yeah, Buck a day. Program, give up the donut. donut. Give up half yeah, a donut a day. All of that. K boom. And, and for refunds, go to feelitrealfun.com. Double A has joined us today as well. Hello, Double A. MM. Okay. D, John Mance. So, all right. we cancel that. What is going on? I hope you didn't totally screw it up. Oh no. I... <laughs> <laughs> Triple D, go, go. All right. <laughs> so I'm ready. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay. Okay, boom. So the first question is from Talia in Manifesting Mastery. That's right. Imagining being beautiful. Ooh. If I'm feeling into the state of being beautiful, could I skip trying to walk as though I'm beautiful, which can be hard, <laughs> and just feel into being passionate and in love with life, etc.? I want to get past the trying and living in the and live in the end. Any advice would be awesome. Thank you so very much. Love you guys. Right now, I'm walking in the uh, <clears throat> state of the wish fulfilled because uh, I'm in it. You can't help it. If you are actually in the state of your wish fulfilled, you will walk in it. You'll sleep in it. And Neville mm -hmm. talks about those two things. So it's not like pretending or trying to make yourself look pretty by walking a certain no. way. It's and that is so attracting to other mm. people when um, when you are like that. Like, um, mm -hmm. I know for me, I can be in the garden covered in cow shit. <laughs> covered in <laughs> cow shit. Everyone write that down. And pea straw and stuff and uh, look oh. absolutely gross. Like, if I looked at myself in the mirror, <laughs> it would be like, oh, my God. But... Um, I know how good I feel out there, and I know twenty. She's beautiful. Sees me in that state, being beautiful, like yep. covered in cow shit. So, <laughs> but notice she's not trying to be beautiful while covered in cow shit. No. That would totally backfire. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah, dropping the trying, absolutely. Mm. Funky cold Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> Funky old Jamaica. <laughs> Welcome to the you show. Cold first. <laughs> yeah, well, that was where it comes yeah. from. Oh, is it? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, Triple D, Fran. Uh, yes, All right. and MM Stella Jim. So, yes, so I reckon that's, yeah, give up the trying, just, yeah. Yep, was there a second Be part to that? Be in the state. Uh, was, How about if I hold on to that instead of turning away not, from the camera? Sorry. <laughs> um, no, just being, like you said, being passionate mm -hmm. and in love with life. Well, that was the that's second part. What it's about. That's a different wish. You could be passionate and in love with life and, and be, you know, unattractive, ugly, right? You, you get it's two separate wishes. You want to be mm. passionate about life. Uh, we're going to talk later. Somebody asked about happy, happy, joy, joy. I am not always happy, happy, joy, joy. No, he's not. Right? I'm not. <laughs> right? Yeah. But I am very passionate about life. We're talking today about how cool it is because, you know, apparently they're going to start lifting restrictions on the loogie and some people will get to go back to work. Some will get to continue to work from mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. I find it absolutely lovely. I'm passionate about it because for years I've been saying the system's broken. I mean, all these people sitting in traffic, you know, know. 15, 20 hours a week, some of them, yeah. to work a 40-hour-a-week job, that's insanity. Yeah. And I'm, I'm excited about what's next. You get it? Mm. Yeah. It's, it's, it, it's not that I am a passionate person. I'm actually passionate because I know who I am and how this works. Mm. So that's another bit jamaica's not happy happy joy joy all the time that's right <laughs> sometimes you're just jamaica <laughs> what jamaica that jamaica <laughs> so by the way i'm loving your play right so yeah. let me just toss that out there yeah. stick a link up to your stuff here yeah imaginarium right? his yeah. facebook group yep stick a link yeah. up cool boom all right excellent so thank you talia the next question is from 
Francesca? Francesca. How do I attract friends? <laughs> Hi, love your channel. How do I attract new good friends? I visualise I see myself with a new best friend, happy, laughing and having a toast to our friendship. Strangely, I'm running into my old best friends that I got rid of 20 years ago. However, the reasons I left them are worse than ever and they are full of jealousy and negativity more than ever. What am I doing wrong? Quote, I don't know. I, I suspect, so you so you're mentioned seeing yourself in a toasty thing. Uh, it's not seeing your. It's not seeing a movie of yourself. If you go to freenovel.com and just type the word ladder in the search box, uh, there's a really good article: the difference between success and failure. Mm -hmm. Failure is seeing a movie of yourself. Uh, success comes from experiencing what you would actually experience. What would you see through your own eyes? Mm -hmm. uh, let me give you a good example. The other day, uh, my buddy at the dog park is late. <laughs> if I didn't have friends, I'd go to the dog park and take a walk. Mm -hmm. My buddy is late, and I was like man where the fuck is cube right mm. like did he sleep in maybe i should call him oh yeah just you know but but there's an imaginal act right there if your friend was late mm. right what would you feel yeah maybe i should give him a call right man yeah, maybe i'm glad they're late right mm. don't want to put up with their shit today <laughs> <laughs> so so experience yeah. what you would experience if you had you know close friends if you had the, the group of friends that you want mm. and i wouldn't make it a toast to the friends i mean that's sort of like Yep, we're friends. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, it's sort of like when people do the whole thing with money, and they do the like, twenty. You look so great that you're making twenty million dollars a year. So, <laughs> yeah, right. It doesn't. That doesn't, yeah, it doesn't feel. It's not like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't feel real, that sort of conversation, toasting your friendship. I don't know that I'd really be doing that. Yeah. Have but you the ever? fun things you'd know. Yeah, you've been alive for but I've been alive for a long time. Yeah, absolutely. And I've never actually done that. Yeah. Admittedly I've never had a lot of friends. <laughs> <laughs> but and another thing actually I noticed you said like they're full of jealousy and negativity. It's like I'm maybe you're looking for that a little bit. Like Yeah, lift them up. Yeah. Because Cube one of 20's good friends, cool. he, he can be negative. <laughs> Kube. <laughs> but we lift him out of it. Yeah, <laughs> we joke around. Yeah, and <laughs> sometimes we hit him with shit. <laughs> yeah, so they don't all have to be exactly like you. I guess that's the thing I learned. That's right. Yeah. Mm. Boom. Mm. All right. Triple D. Leanne cool. And Excellent, Mandra. Francesca. Thank you very much. All righty. Have fun with that. Yeah. The next uh, question is from Diana. Fear and chest pains. Hi, I'm in New York and paralyzed with fear. Recently, I've had chest pains. I want to know what to visualize to make sure I have a healthy heart. Would a doctor saying your heart is strong and healthy be a good visual? I want to feel strong and healthy, but feel weak and fearful. I can't even get my doctor on the phone and too afraid to go to hospital right now. Thank you both for your help. P.S. I'm imagining being on heart meds and blood thinners and wanting to die. All right, mm, so. Stop that. So, so here's the cool thing. Ready? You're already feeling it real. You're imagining what implies your terror has been fulfilled. Mm. Right? So you get mm. to stop that. That's mm. cool. But this, the, the other side of the coin, I, I'm not a fan of imagining doctors telling me I'm healthy. Because, I mean, like, I go to the doctors every five years or so. Right? You know maybe 10. I can't remember the last time I've been to a dentist, right? Not a fan of them, you know, just right, whatever. But I take good care of my teeth, right? I've got strong teeth. Uh, <laughs> I, I would imagine something from your typical day, because if you went to the doctors and the doctor said, your heart is okay, and you went, oh, that alleviated my fear. Mm. Uh, how long do you go to the doctor again so you can be alleviated of your fear? fear again. Yeah, right. got you. Yeah, it gets yeah. expensive and you got to sit around and fuck, it's Loogie 3.0. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, 3.0. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm, like, all right. You know, yeah. like, it, it almost goes back to the prior question, which is cool. Like, my friends and I toasting. I've never had a friend toast me that they were happy they're my friend. I mean, like, Harry, yeah, I could carry get pretty. You know, kicked, kicked get, when he got really and, pissed, well, love he might ya, love do, ya. do that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was funny. Yeah. But besides something like that, I mean, like, I mean, that's, 
Yeah, yeah, I, I've had I, I've had mortal enemies when they get drunk enough. Oh, Rob, yo, it's like, yeah, you're under arrest. <laughs> you, yeah. you do have the right to remain silent, all right? Uh, but it's what you'd be doing with a help being feeling fit and healthy and yeah, exactly. a good, strong heart. What would you do? Be running up a hill, or I don't know. <laughs> you know, I, I remember whenever I went to the doctors and they said, "Oh, you've got extreme hypertension, yada yada yada, all this stuff. Yeah. You have to really take care of yourself because you just might die." Mm. And first of all, I'm like, right. Second of all, there's this woman that runs past our home, and at the time she looked like a tank. I'm talking yes. big, solid. Yes. And and she just she just like looked, an elephant yeah, the way she looked as well. It was like, yeah. and I'm thinking. <clears throat> Right, she's been doing this for about two years, right? If she hasn't popped like a zit, I'm not popping like a zit. So fast forward to this past week. And we saw her. <laughs> we see her still. She runs past the house. She's not built like a tank anymore, no. but she still fucking runs, right? Yeah. And, and from what I can tell all the time, because I see her fairly Just often, move. Yeah. right? So th there's the thing, because obviously this woman has become a runner. She's gone from fat to, uh, like, very fit. I mean, mm -hmm. she's not like... Mm -hmm. uh, it's not skinny, but skinny, it's like, but you no, can tell, she like, could, uh, she's fit. Yeah. Yep. Tony, mm. hiking without breathing heavy. Exactly. Or even just hiking, mm. you know, there's mm. the thing, whatever your thing is, what, what are you afraid you won't be able to do? Oh, I got a bad heart. I'm totally fucked. Right. Mm. Uh, yeah. What, what is it that you want to be doing? Sonia, welcome to the show. Right. So, uh, that's what I'd imagine. What would imply you got a healthy heart? You know, like uh, I had sex for eight hours with Monica. <laughs> and there you I go. Did you could do that, work, friend. Um, right? well, are we on Dinah? <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. Let it be fun, right? If it's fun yeah. and funny, it's easy, right? Poppy, yeah. MM, welcome to the show. Mm. So, Victoria, cool. shall we continue us? Yes, and thank you, Diana. Diana. The next question is from Elizabeth in Manifesting Mastery. That is the rightness, everyone. Is this the Elizabeth that often tunes into the watch parties? Yes. McShit? No. Different oh, one. Different Elizabeth. Okay. Elizabeth in Manifesting Mastery. Donating to charity? Question mark. What do you think about doing charity? I'm not much concerned about this loogie thing, but what to do? When I get unsolicited WhatsApp messages asking for donations to help the poor and needy people suffering from the loogie, how to react to them? They are friends, neighbours, colleagues, etc. I don't know. I, I mean, like, yeah, it's yeah. I will more often than not imagine lovingly for someone before forking over a dollar. Oh. But at the same time, if I'm taking a walk and there's a homeless guy, I mean, like, boom, yeah. Sometimes I give him some money. Mm -hmm. I always imagine lovingly. But, but there's the thing, you know, it's like, I mean, the the whole world is like, you know, can you give me a dollar? Can we re elect someone different? Uh, what's the real cause? Yeah. You know, and again, if you ever feel like donating, you donate. Mm. Right. If you don't feel like it, you don't. I was one day down in the city hanging with a homeless guy for, I don't know, about an hour or so for Victoria to That's pick me right. up. Yeah. And in this particular one, I didn't give him nothing. Mm. We had a great chat, talked about this kind of stuff. But you imagined him having, yeah, I can't remember, a cigarette and and some and a meal or I yeah. can't remember it, it, and by the time you left yeah. when you looked yeah, across he's, yeah, he he's got his goodies yes so yes. Yeah. boom so mm. that's my thing yeah cool cool excellent so that was from Elizabeth in Manifesting Mastery apparently Joe's just arrived so apparently we've got to go back to the beginning now welcome to and another exciting episode the show. all right yeah, Joe's here <laughs> <laughs> yes okay sorry Joe the next question is from Liz in Bruce, Manifesting Mastery. Bruce would like to go. Well, let's go back to the beginning. He oh, would. No, I've got Uncle Joe's here. Yeah, I know. I know. Here, here he here comes. comes. Oh, oh, it's okay. Bob. I love Uncle Joe. There's a big computer behind us, though, so All we right. probably won't jump up. All right. All right. The next question is from Liz in Manifesting Mastery. All right. Which pack should I get next? Hi, TT. I want to purchase the Feel Real Power Pack, the Prosperity Pack, Revision to the max or manifesting to the max. <clears throat> Got limited funds. Power pack is the basic pack, I feel, so we'll buy that definitely. What else among the others? Will prosperi prosperity have any portion of revision or manifesting to the max? Will manifesting to the max cover everything? Manifesting to the max has revision to the max inside of it. 
So, yeah. and if you get revision to the max, we have an upgrade offer for the price difference. So that's pretty immaterial. Mm. But here's my number one thing. When people write to me saying, hey, what do you reckon? Uh, here's my general thing. And I'm making this because I want to be able to you, you send this to people. Uh, if, if you want this to become your total way of life, manifestingmasterycourse.com. It's just, yeah. it, it's it on a stick. I mm. mean, it takes people from using this as a problem solving thing to a way of life. It's mm. just the way we designed it. Everything else, let's just call that little niches. Yeah, manifest into the max. Leanne says manifest into the max is grand. It really is. It's mm -hmm. a really cool thing, totally different, set up in a completely different way. Mm -hmm. So even though it says it's a 90-day program, you do not get a daily email on manifestingtothemax.com. Mm -hmm. uh, you get a whole bunch of stuff at once, and we just say, hey, do a month at a time and have fun, keep in touch, reach out anytime. Mm -hmm. It's it's a different material. It's, yeah, just give it a peek. yeah. Different process. Yeah. And and the other ones, again, they're niche, niche things. If you find yourself imagining wealth and you feel the prosperity pack is on your path, pick it up. You know, it's sort of like uh, yeah, move to the state of your wish fulfilled and notice, like, what packages are you interested in? What do you feel like picking up? Mm. And and here and here's another one. Scott says MM is a steal. Mm. 97 bucks for a $9,000 course. Yeah, we've talked about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The... Yeah, the big thing to me is, uh, uh, yeah, really imagine you being si really successful and having a lot of fun with this, and then uh, dive mm. in wherever you feel like diving in. Mm. So it's great she's in <clears throat> MM. Yep, totally already. So that's great. Yep, and I do agree about um, the feel at real power pack. Just nailing. That's, that's core. getting to nail sessions and everything and feeling it real. So. Yeah, and then as you said, after that, could be dream driven day. Boom. <laughs> yep, in yeah. August. Yes. Boom, boom, boom. Cool. Boom, boom. Excellent. Thank you, Talia. And I. Oh, no, that was not Talia. That was not Talia. I accidentally hit this to the top. Thank you, Liz. That's right. Mm -hmm. Boom. Sweet. The next question's from Leela in Manifesting Mastery. Thinking about time. That's a common one. Is it okay to think that it's going to happen, or do we have to think only imagining we are living from the end all the time when we think about the topic we are manifesting? Hey, Emmett, you want to lie down? You lie down. Yeah. Good boy. For example, if I'm manifesting a dress every time I remember, do I have to think, oh, my dress, it's in my wardrobe now. I'm so happy. Or is it also okay to think, I'm so happy that that dress is going to be mine? Cool. So <clears throat> I'm going to get really practical here. Now, the other day we talked about uh, which one was it which had the clairvoyant gift. Oh, clear clear seeing of the mind or whatever it was yes one of the 12 disciples oh. so uh, i can't remember which one that was but uh but the, but i yeah get how cool this is because you know i know that it will be a crushing its show because i've imagined it being a crushing its show mm. so i don't tell walk around the house telling victoria before the show the show was great it was wonderful the show oh. was great it was wonderful <laughs> like are you ready <laughs> yeah. Let's go, hustle, hustle, boom, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, th there's there's that whole thing of getting. You imagine the road trip was wonderful, but you still drive the car. You still pick up the occasional hitchhiker. You still mm. put them in the boot when you're done with them. <laughs> 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 That's the trunk for you people in the U.S. Thaddeus, thank you, Jesse. Oh, was it Thaddeus? Cool, cool. thank you. Yeah. Hey, Thaddeus. Oh, oh yes, Thaddeus. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Yes. Mm -hmm. It's got a dream driven boner. <laughs> he's scratching <laughs> on. He's finally <laughs> laid down. Oh, he's finally laid down. <laughs> he finally paid attention to what I said. So when you when you move into that state, I imagine Victoria's yum. I don't handcuff her and let her and make her not cook. Right? Mm -hmm. You know, if if I imagine the yum, one of us is gonna cook a meal probably. Or That's we're gonna drive happen. someplace or pick it up, that kind of thing. So mm -hmm. when I have a thought about what I've already imagined, I imagine the podcast, the show having crushed it, mm -hmm. all your feedbacks, yay, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh cool. I still like right, gotta upload it, gotta yeah, edit it. Bada, bada. Jerry says, Do you have a recommendation for me to watch with the wife tonight? 
you're going to watch The Wife tonight? <laughs> Jamaica? <laughs> I mean, why not? I mean, she's pretty. Let's she, just let's, let's be honest. With the wife, right? Yeah, you got to look her. So do I. I mean, do I like looking at mine? I sure do. <laughs> Victoria, will you go get me my slippers, please? <laughs> oh, not those ones. <laughs> uh, a movie for Jamaica. A movie? I don't know. Like we've been enjoying defending Jacob, but Mr. Bean. We watched oh. the Mr. Bean one the other day. <laughs> oh, well, that was a dumb Mr. Bean one. But there's some good Mr. Bean ones. <laughs> Bane. Yeah. <laughs> I, can't, I can't get over there. You use it that somewhere. Sure. Right. Okay. <laughs> so, All righty. So, yeah, that was, I think, clear, wasn't it, for Leela? Clear <laughs> seeing of the mind? Yes. Yes. So. <laughs> that was good. That's good. That's right. Good one. All right. Okay. I like Thank getting you, Murphy. Leela. Phil. Uh, Phil. <laughs> Phil. <laughs> I thought it was maybe Philip. But it was Thaddeus, so I was wrong. Thaddeus. Thaddeus. What they all are now. The next question is from Melanie. Chronic pain help. Just want to ask again, how to overcome chronic physical issues, illness? I know I'm the gatekeeper, but how can I continue to keep that state when I am in pain 24 hours a day? I guarantee you're <laughs> imagining being in pain tomorrow. Mm. To ask the question... You get it? Mm. It's the same as every everything else. And this is what's cool because I yeah, there, there are times where I'm in pain. There are mm. times when I'm not. There are times, yeah, I mean, I've I managed to bung up my body in all sorts of cool ways, right? <laughs> and so when something flares up, it's like, right. Uh, however, uh, here's, here's one that I get that seems related, right? Uh, I have been depressed 24 hours a day, seven days a week for 10 years. I'm like, all right, 20. And I write back, cool. And then you write back, what do you mean, cool? <laughs> never mind. What the fuck do you mean, never mind? Oh, you're not depressed now, are you? You're angry. Right? Now, now you're angry. <laughs> <laughs> so, so here's the thing, right? There are times where you're not in pain. There are times when the depressive is not depressed. There's times when the anxiety-driven is not anxiety-driven. Mm -hmm. and, and noticing those... <clears throat> Uh, instead of you know, what most people do is they delete them. Oh, I, I've been, I, I, I've been in, I, 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 for, forever. It's like, yeah, right. Really, I don't fucking think so, right? And again, I really love the depressives because, like, I mean, I can get them angry, and then, and then it's <laughs> like, leave me alone, because so I can go back to get depressed again. <laughs> so, yeah. and, and and often when they get that, that excites them. So it's like, oh my god, yeah, yeah. And I'll take that feeling. Right? Mm -hmm. Notice how the world looks whenever you're excited. Notice mm. how it looks when you're angry. Even though these are just emotions, they can mm. help you just notice some different things. So, uh, Excuse me. Yeah. So yeah. that's what I'd notice. You're not always in pain. Yeah. The potential for it's always there. Mm. Carlene, Triple D, welcome to the show. Oh, yeah, Carlene. So yeah. that's my thing. And put a lot of good fun buns in the oven. Here, here's the one. Here's another thing. Because like mm. when my elbows hurt and I couldn't even type, uh, I was imagining lots of goodies. Right, I of course I was feeling as if the pain in my elbows was in the past. I would revise the previous day whenever they hurt so bad, mm. but at some point they quit hurting, and I can't even tell you when. Mm. Right, and and there's a big thing right there. But meanwhile, I was putting lots of other buns in the oven, some Victoria yums, some puppies, you know, so on and so forth. But the big thing is, I would create a full-on lifestyle with this. So, boom. Rose says, I'm a therapist, and I agree on this totally. You know what? There's some good therapists out there, and there's some sucky ones. And <laughs> Which one are you, Rose? <laughs> Which one are you? I'm joking. Right? Which state are you in, right? And, like, seriously, the, 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 the therapists out there that get this and that play with this, because they're out there, guys. Because uh, some people will say, well, like, should I get into therapy or not? It says, depends on you and depends on the therapist. Right? Cause <laughs> and it really does, right? Mm. So, uh, good on you, Rose. Cool. Mm. Good on you for being the blessing. <laughs> so, are you the kind of therapist that sucks <laughs> or the kind of therapist that really sucks? Or right. rocks. <laughs> right. Let us know. Sucks or really sucks. Yeah. <laughs> and some people, by the way, they set up their entire. Uh, no, yeah, cool. Yes. Let's sweet. talk sometime. Very PM nice, me. right? Okay. Cool. The, now, here's the cool thing because, like, seriously, some people, they set up their lives with, well, am I going to be depressed today? Or apathetic. 
<laughs> yes. Like, really? Those are the only two, <laughs> two choices options. you're yeah. giving yourself, you know? Yeah. It's like, Mr. 20, are you a dishonest marketer or a very dishonest marketer? Yep, mm -hmm. I am very dishonest. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I always go for the big, right? <laughs> yeah. so why just be dishonest when you to can the be max very, <laughs> right? Got you. So, I really like also what you said about, because um, also... Um, with your chronic pain, it, it's happened for years. Definitely use revision, not for the years, but for yesterday. Yeah, yesterday, yeah. yeah. That's good. Yeah, I reckon. Um, yeah. Notice how, well, actually, it wasn't all day yesterday. Yeah. I had some really good, I actually had a good conversation with my mum. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. You know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, conversation with mom's either going to suck or <laughs> really suck. suck. Yeah. <laughs> Which way is it going to go, mom? <laughs> cool. Uh, all right. Thank you, Melanie. Yeah. And again, notice it's fun. There's yeah. the other thing. And notice we always bring humor into it. Feel it real fun. Mm. There's a reason why we always go with fun. Yeah. So, cool. Mm. All right. Sweet. Victoria. The next question is from Sana on Facebook. Self-love and Neville Goddard. How do you know if you have enough self-love? How do you take people off a pedestal and out yourself and maybe put yourself on the pedestal once and for all? Cool. I'd stop imagining pedestals. Mm. Right? I'd also stop imagining pedophiles. I'd also <laughs> stop imagining self love and self hate and like all these things that are useless. Mm. Because what you are it can fall into any state. What you are is love. What you are is the wisdom and the power of God. What you are is the power and the operant power. Devil says the power doesn't operate itself. Now, here's what's cool self love is a concept. I have yet to have anybody explain it to me in very simple terms and then have somebody else explain it to me in very simple terms that agrees. Yeah, yeah, yeah self-love, feel good. Yeah, okay, so we're talking about feeling good or selfing love, right? It just gets, <laughs> it gets really weird. Uh, instead, uh, what do you actually want? You want a relationship that, you know, that works? Mm. Cool. Yeah, you know, imagine that you're in relationships that work, right? Uh, discover that in any moment I can love her more than I love me and in any moment I can love me more than I love her because mm. yeah and because here's the thing that and there are times where I won't even think of her mm. and then there are times her, that she's all I can think about but until you can play with that kind of flexibility moving your flashlight around you're not going to discover that you're you are love when she's out in the gar uh, garden, she was talking about being covered with uh, cow shit and stuff. Mm. She's not thinking about me. Yeah, I can guarantee you that. There is not one thought in her being about, I wonder what 20's doing. Unless she, I'm getting hungry. Unless she's getting hungry, right? <laughs> but she, she's out there just going, moo poo. Love me the moo poo. Right? And she's just in the zone and you know, expressing and experiencing garden girl in the garden, right? Mm. But you get, it's not about self love. It's about giving life to the lovely. And the only way you can give life to the lovely is to discover you are love. And that gets you way beyond that whole thing of like, well, I need to do self-love meditations. Anyone who's telling you to do self-love meditations doesn't fucking get this, right? Mm -hmm. I'm imagining I love me. <laughs> I love me. That. Yeah. I'm imagining I love <laughs> me. <it> possible? <laughs> yeah, I love me more than her. I'm going to kick her ass off the pedestal. <laughs> <laughs> What's that thing you go through to get on the subway, Joe? Turnstile. Turnstile, right? Turnstile, pedestal. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> he sit on the wrong thing. <laughs> ouchie, ouchie. Yep. So, that's my advice, right? Mm -hmm. So, go forth. Prosper. Get a kitten. Cool. Good one, Sana. Yes, get a kitten. <laughs> yeah, Bruce would like a cat. Dog. Bruce would like a cat. Can yeah. I have a cat? <laughs> you can't have a cat, Bruce. Okay. <laughs> Good one. Thank uh, you, Sana. Uh, uh. The next question is from Manam. Replaying or revising? Is constantly replaying words and events of, past, of the past and over-analyzing the mistake too? You betcha. For sure. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it's an option. 
Yeah, you don't have to do yeah, it. Yeah, you, you, you don't have to. But I mean, like sometimes it's useful. Like if I put myself in a slightly altered state of consciousness, I mean, I can pretty much like recite Perry Belcher. I mean, imagine that <laughs> <laughs> just for fun, right? <laughs> uh, but yeah, <laughs> because all these are gifts. We, we talked about doubting when we did the Thomas show. You know, you get to learn how to doubt things. Like you, like you could doubt that that memory of the conversation that you have is accurate or useful at all, mm. right? It's like, oh, that was a shitty conversation. Well, am I sure it went that way? I don't know. It's mm -hmm. pretty. Ah, oh, fuck it, man. I you no know, use even running that through my head again. Was that to do with the discrimination as well, as, or discernment? Was that the doubt one? No, that was another one. I think disciple. that was another one. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Mm. Boom. Mm. Autocorrect is always fun and fun. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Sizzle. <laughs> and he's replying to himself. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> maybe, maybe that has something to do with the inner conversations. I don't know. But here's yeah. the cool thing. If they're not given to you, stop. Mm. All right. Cool. Thank you, madam. <laughs> right. The next question is from Dream Driven Day Anula. Anula. Daydreams versus feeling it real. When feeling it real, how can I be sure it's not actually a daydream that feels so real? Cool. Daydreams dissipate. I, I like the, when Neville, Neville gives a couple things where he basically talks about imagine what implies your wish is fulfilled. If, the, if, if what imagines your wish is fulfilled is a handshake, you imagine that handshake. You don't imagine the handshake and smoking a cigarette and taking a walk and smoking a joint and <laughs> and, and it just keeps going, right? Yeah, yes. daydreams tend to just keep going, right? And then, wow. The second thing I notice about feeling it real, it moves me. Yeah, I was going to say that for me, a daydream is very much up in the head and there's like a disconnect. It's yep. just like, I don't know, well, wouldn't it be great or something. But when I feel it real... I really feel it Boom. in my body. So um, that for me is my almost meter. I got a couple of people, they daydream about doing podcasts and shows and stuff. And they honestly daydream about it mm. because they don't ever do it. Mm. Oh, That's your phone. That's my phone. Right. I'm a good girl. So <laughs> good girl. <laughs> right? See, now she could daydream about being a good girl. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yeah, right. Keep going, because you just made me think about something. Oh, oh, yeah, it was something in Dream Driven Day. Yeah. The vertical as well. Yeah, boom. That, for me, that vertical that we talked about in Dream Driven Day is like when it, it's almost like it, you're bringing it home and feeling it real now. I, I love that Neville talks about nailing it. 70 times 7, like a sword in the eye. Uh, I love how we explore that whole thing with that verticalness mm. because there really is something there. Uh, when I talk about being moved, that mm. may mean sunk, that may mean, ah, yeah, you know, going forth to do something. But it's like when I knew it was time to get a hot tub, I got a hot tub. Yeah. Right? There was just no. Uh, no dicking around with like let me research it for six more months no let me research who says that they're the best at this let me see yeah just t -t -t -t, you know, outsource mm. a couple things bang got it right mm. so that vertical sprawl that's yes. it boom mm. leanne says when i feel it real it does move in my body mm. and and and, Vic, and she says victoria says it so feelingly you can hear yeah, it yeah yeah right can... so mm. so when when you get that it, it's like literally when I tell when I tell someone stop, <laughs> they stop. Yeah. <laughs> right? And I say, excuse me. I don't even have to say the word stop. But if my intention is, hey, <laughs> See, yeah. yeah. Well, she just blushed. She's seen me do this right every now and then when someone needs a talking to. And it's like, hmm. <laughs> See, I can say less and less, but still, <laughs> bang, right? It, it hits them, right? Yeah. Someone's trying to get onto 20. <laughs> All right. Pretty big Kalina. <laughs> Yay. Dumb shit. Oh, <laughs> I love dumb shit. Cube telling you about Foxtel. Right, so that was for Dream Driven Day and Ula. All right, and I hope that was useful. That's I'm sure. Useful. Yeah. She'll tell us Watch tonight. because. She... <laughs> I'm daydreaming that it was useful. That it was useful, right? yes. Versus right. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Yeah. All right. Adelia. 
she normally always watches Alex. the watch parties, oh, so we'll be able to talk people. to her tonight. Oh my god! So yes. So that was a noise. Thank you. Oh, the next rich. question. Hmm. Right, sorry. The next question's from Bo on Facebook. I can't manifest money. Hello, Mr. 2020, Victoria and dogs. Hey, Bo. I know I'm a broken record, but I create, but I create wealth. I do a feel it real, create a, st create a state and let it go. And I still don't see any unlimited financial abundance showing up. I love this one. Mm. Unlimited financial abundance. <laughs> it's raining on me. <laughs> uh, yeah, not a fan of stuff like that. And I'll, and I'll tell you why. See, see, here's what I notice. I create wealth. I create wealth, wealth in our lives. I create wealth in other people's lives. I create wealth. There's my state, right? I don't look for money. Okay, we make money. Money shows up. It's fascinating. I get the best deals. I walk into the bottle shop. Hey, twenty last bottle, thirty bucks off, sold, done. Right, put, yeah, put it in my baggy thing. Right, the, when I I live as the guy gets top shelf at bottom shelf prices just for fun. It's a game because it was a war that I had before. Mm. So this whole thing with unlimited financial, uh, for for me, it just feels all out there like a daydream, versus getting I create wealth. How do I create wealth? I love teaching. Right, boom, and and so it just compounds like that. Whenever you start making it about you, Carlene writes, I am a wealth creator, aren't you? Mm. Right? Whenever you get, I create wealth. All right, it's cool. And see, I've got some little core bits of my philosophy. I make great money while doing what I love. Right? So that has me set up systems that help people benefit from our work, even when we're at the dog park. Yeah. Because if I had to get on the phone for people to be blessed, I'd never get off the damn thing. Yeah. And as most of you know, it's impossible to get me on the phone. Yeah. Because I like that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I like being impossible. <laughs> Don't I? <coughs> it's also because he's got an iPhone 4S. <laughs> oh, the coveted iPhone 4S is lovely. Maybe we should show it like, when <laughs> One the next time it rings. <laughs> With the cover that you got from the little girl oh, in the garage yeah, sale. I got, yeah, I got, a, yeah, I got a cover for... <laughs> mint green. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's lovely mint green, plastic leather, leather. <laughs> so, I'm styling, man. Oh, I got my wow. own style. Yeah. So Leanne says, how do I create wealth? I love that one, right? I create mm. money. Now watch this. So, so here's what everyone else says. I make great money doing what I love. That's okay. Uh, I like making great money while doing what I love. Oh, what did, what's the difference there? I didn't catch. What did Leanne have? In uh, I make great money doing what I love. Oh, I like that. I started there. Don't get me wrong. Got you. But, but I make great money while doing what I love. Like That's buying nice. whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hoo -ha. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what am I doing? I'm making money. Why? Because I'm buying whiskey, right? Because <laughs> I set it up that way. Yeah, right? that, that's a good distinction. Got you. So yeah. play there. Explore. Mm. What's it feel like to create wealth? What's it feel like to have wealth? That money, uh, that attitude money game. A lot of people never experience having 100 bucks in their wallet and not having to spend it. A lot of people, they, uh, I, I, yeah, and I, I'm not bragging when I say this. I walked around the dog park for like two years, carrying, carrying ten grand, just so I could notice panic attacks, mm. right? Because like, where the fuck is my wallet, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or what if somebody mugs me? You gonna mm. mug me, really, right? <laughs> but, mm. but I got to deal with a lot of shit mm. because I, I decided, okay, I'm gonna start with a hundred bucks, and at some point I'm gonna double it up so I can experience what it's like to have double the amount of money that I used to have. And all these little games that, yeah, that's a really good game to play. Mm. And uh, you can find that on YouTube, I think, if you type in Neville Goddard Money Game or something like that. Just make sure it's me talking. Because what I've noticed is some people take phrases that I say and they'll title their videos after them. And they'll, <laughs> and they'll share dumb shit. So, yeah. So <coughs> make sure you're watching my dumb shit. Right? So if you're going to watch dumb shit, <laughs> watch mine. Margo, welcome to the show. Cool. All righty. So Victoria, <laughs> yes, we'll just and Leanne just said she was um, yeah, she realised she's bad at dictation. Or bad whatever. at dictation, like taking down what you just said. Oh, cool, put, got it. No, yeah, because she oh, was you were, copying you're, oh, what you got said. It. And, cool, but great distinction that we were able to pick that up. Yeah, and it's a, and it's a real slick one, guys. Like seriously, making great money while doing what you love, right? Mm. Boom. So, carry on, Victoria. I like what Alec. <laughs> Alice said, um, 
making great money while making love. <laughs> Hoo-ha. True. <laughs> yep. All right? Unless you yeah. only have like 15 minutes of fame because sometimes we go 15 <laughs> minutes without a sale. Well, we make love in everything, in, in everything that we do. That's true. Yeah. Yes. So um, that's making out. Yeah. Making money while making out. <laughs> Boom. All right. Okay. So thank you, Bo. That was great. By the way, one more thing. You can feel it real. Look for signs. Uh, you notice I keep structuring things as identities because I can't look for signs when it comes to an identity. You get it? If I, if, if I was imagining up 500 live viewers on the Facebooks, uh, and, 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 and I'd be constantly looking at the number. Got you. Right? Versus like, right, uh, I am a loving teacher. I mm. share distinctions that are very useful. I create wealth in my life and in the lives of others. Anybody who's gotten some wealth out of today's show, mm. uh, type the word wealth in just mm. for fun, mm -hmm. right? Because I want you to get how real this is. Mm. Making money, making out. <sighs> That's mm. right. Mm. So, Victoria. Cool. Thank you, Bo. The next question is from Neil Ash in Manifesting Mastery. No questions. Such is the power of being in the state of the wish fulfilled that it doesn't allow your mind to raise even a single question. Damn. I wanted to put that in here because uh, she's doing MM. Mm. And, and I want you to notice something that I continuously talk about. What I want is for not to, I, I don't like giving answers. Some people criticize me for that. Mm. Why don't you just tell me the answer? Right? I want you to have an experience. So when I answer a question, I'm almost always answering the question in the questioner and inviting you to experience because experience changes your life. Right? Behavior change is actually, you know, learning is behavior change. We explore that in triple D. Right? Yeah. Learning is behavior change. Yeah. It's not, I got another answer, which leads to another question. Right? So this is why I'm always answering the way that I do. And I love that you don't have an addiction to questions or answers. Because there's some folks that they will email me nine times a day Constantly. if I let them. Yeah. Uh, and so I don't. Mm. But they just want just one more answer. Just one more answer. Just one more answer. Just one more answer. Just yeah. no. no. <clears throat> answers aren't the secret. Feeling is the secret. Imaginal experience. So are oh, you guys typing wealth? It's That's ace. really cool. So loads of wealth going up. Boom. Yeah. All right. Yes. And, uh, cool. Good one, Neilish. Thank you. Thanks for thanks for commenting on that because mm. that's that's some good stuff. Mm. Do we have one more? Two more. Uh, we, we've got a couple more. Couple but more. I'm just trying to work out how to pronounce the next person's name. <laughs> Bob. No. <laughs> so the next question is from. Nathan, love you, buddy. Presmec on Facebook. That works for me. <laughs> happy, happy, joy, joy. Oh, it's this one. Happy, happy, joy, joy. <laughs> happy, happy. Isn't joy, it all joy, just joy. about feeling happy all the time? Or does the image or feeling have to be more specific? I'm not a fan of the happy, happy, joy, joy club, right? Oh. Anybody want to look at one of my favorite videos? Go to YouTube and type in Ren and Stimpy, happy, happy, joy, joy. <laughs> it's the stupidest fucking thing. But you want to know what goes on in my head at four in the morning when I can't sleep? Happy, happy. <laughs> joy, joy, joy. It's, it's Is that just, how it goes? Yeah, it's just horrible. <laughs> but it's a lot of funny. from you right? a few times. Yep, probably. You know, when I'm half asleep. Happy, happy, joy, joy. <laughs> you have specific desires. Okay? Pizza. Mm. Right, pizza with anchovies. Right, mm. uh, some some people want a dog, right? And when a cat shows up, it's just not. Oh, I'd be happy with a pet. No, well, <laughs> what would you enjoy? Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> so yeah, uh, goldfish. That'll do. <laughs> Park yeah, it on the bench. Yeah, take yeah. it to the dog park. Come on, Fluffy. <laughs> take it by goldfish, Fluffy, to the dog park. <laughs> So, by the way, you get how happy we are. <laughs> by the way, stupid, so happy. <laughs> yeah. And at the same time, yeah, the, the, yeah, the episode where Ren's personality split. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm with you, Jerry. Jamaica, we gotta. Yeah, maybe we'll do a sit down and watch together sometime. That'd be good fun, right? Anchovies, yeah, on the white pizza. We love that mm, pizza. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> but you have specific desires, and and uh, in Dream Driven Day, one of the calls we focus on. A lecture called one greater than john everyone mm. should get that just tattooed like to their belly 
right? It's a long lecture. You might have to go the whole way around. But <laughs> but one greater than John is when okay. you do violence to your desires, right? One way that almost nobody considers is I, they do. Vi See, it's easy to say to the depressive, "Yep, you're doing violence to your desires." Well, I don't have none. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah, you do. In that state, yeah. they don't. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't have any <laughs> desires. Well, you desire to tell me you don't, don't you? Well, like, <laughs> right? Yeah, and and I'm never trying to hurt anyone. I'm trying to point out you've got one, all right. Now the whole thing with happy, happy, joy, joy, it's the same, right? I just want to be happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy. Yeah, what do you want? Not, I'm busy. Happy, 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 joy, 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 because you're not going right. What do I want? I, you know what I want? A black BMW. All right, go imagine up one. Right? Or, but I want your black BMW. <laughs> right? Not going to happen, right? Twice in the body, once in the head makes the bad guy dead. Somebody type that out. <laughs> so, but that's another way people do violence to their desires. Oh, it's got to be him. It's got to be that car. It's got to be that $20 banknote that's currently in Hong Kong. Mm. Mm. No, it doesn't. All right? Mm. So the whole happy, happy, joy, joy thing, not a fan of it. But you'll notice often we're happy. And why are we happy? Because we're not chasing happiness. We are giving life to what we enjoy. Huh. Where do we explore that? Oh, Jamaica, look at you sharing the YouTubes. That'll be a happy, happy, joy, joy, or the Must other be. one. Can't wait. Must happy, happy, check joy, it out. joy, joy, joy. After the show. All right. But you have to be happy 24 hours a day, seven days a week for your dream to come true. Mm. Right. Now. Mm. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Two in the chest, one, one in the, in the head. head makes the bad guy dead. That's right. right. <laughs> Oh, look at that, Leanne. Look at that. Oh, I, I just, look at the Triple D people, they know how to They type. know all about it. <laughs> they, I wonder yeah, why. Yeah, they know all about it. All right, so what's Triple D about? Mm. Right, it's about me. It's a 30 day adventure inside of Mr. 20. I got there, so wanting um, specific things. Is doing violence to your desires. Let's say if you want my BMW, you don't believe you can have yours. Mm -hmm. But also, if it's just like, oh, I'm just imagining being happy in a car too vague got it yeah you actually yeah. have real desires and then the real desire will have its you know it, you know imagining a yummy pizza cool imagining a yummy pizza but it's the 432nd one they made at domino's you know, yeah no nah, it just gets weird imagining yet yeah, being a happy loving wife to a loving man or something but not that man it's got to be that yeah, one uh, it's like no it has to be her man <laughs> the yeah. bitches man <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah which is yeah. which is another way people do violence to their desires it's mm -hmm. like you know what i i will only be happy with my soulmate but he's happily married so how do i Can't get him for me without killing her <laughs> that's, right. yeah, that's not really what you want anyway, hi bruce Shall we continue, Victoria? We shall. I think we've got one last question. <clears throat> oh, so thank you, Prosmec. That was great. The next question's from, is that Ola, I think? Ola. Ola, help Ola. with doubt. Ola. Ola. <laughs> Not nearly. <laughs> yes. Part of why I have some doubt lately is I remember how I believed and have been hopeful in the past but those things that are really important to me didn't come to pass why not cool uh, hopeful right mm. we want to drop hopeful hopeful is not done well i hope that we make out someday yeah hopeful's not mm. feeling it real yeah, Ho yeah. hopeful hope is doubt <coughs> yeah we're just wrapped in bacon oh, that's bacon abuse isn't it anyway <laughs> let's continue let's continue Therefore, I wonder if I'm doing it all right because I'm not sure what I didn't do then that those things didn't come to pass. Do I need to have 100% belief or just have more belief than doubt? You get it? Yeah. If, if there's doubt, it, you know, doubt and hope, they're the same damn thing. Uh, mm. Mm. I don't hope that the show works out. I, 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 I know. I don't yeah. doubt the show works out the same damn thing. I know, right? You got it? There's the difference. Continue, Victoria. And to be clearer, I've been able to manifest the smallest stuff, but I've not been able to manifest the bigger things that truly matter to me, and I've been trying for years. Yep, trying. Here's the thing. It took me a couple of years to get citizenship. It took me probably close to 30 years 
to get something going on with uh, my old employer to benefit some people. I don't care. I'm busy putting other buns in the oven. Now, noticing more important, less important, right? It probably takes you down the road of bigger, smaller, easier, harder. Uh, I don't sort like that. Yeah, you know, I, mm. I just like, right, what's my desire today? How do I you know, you know, move into that next? What's my new desire? How do I move into that next? Yeah, and keep doing that. And uh, there's your key right there. Uh, another bit uh, I've been trying for years. Mm -hmm. If you've been hoping for years, you haven't been feeling it real for years. <coughs> uh, so you got to drop the hope bit and really just nail it. Uh, one more. I had a lady, she sent me an email one day and she'd been doing this for 15 years and it hasn't been working. And, mm. I, and it's like, you said you only discovered Neville seven months ago. She was right. <laughs> Before then, don't count. Okay, well, but I've been... Uh, no, don't count. Get it? It's like saying, you know what? I, I, I've I, been on this bulletproof diet thing, right? Uh, and and I've been... It, but it hasn't worked for 40 years. Says, well, <laughs> Dave invented it maybe seven years ago. Yes. Right? So the fact that I was doing it before Dave invented it and didn't know I was doing it, I'm just... It doesn't count. Mm. Right? So it, when you're not doing this, that time doesn't count. And when you are doing this, you get... You, yeah, it'll show up at its perfect timing. Boom. Jerry, Jamaica. If you're hoping you're not feeling it real. That's right. Mm. Ah. So, Victoria. Yes. So that was from Ola. Thank you for your Ola, question. Ola. I'm shut the heavy lid. All right. So, everyone, we want to know something. Yes. So, Victoria. Tell us your strawberry bit. Uh, mine is, I get so stiff sitting here for an hour. I don't know how people work. <laughs> like, seriously. I mean, like, when people sit in a car for an hour, hour and a half to get there, and an hour, an hour and a half to get home, uh, and, and I'm on an ergonomic chair, right? I'm mm. on the Sally saddle chair. Everybody mm. knows how to mount Sally from behind, right? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Google it. Uh, but, but here's the thing. Like, God, I am just utterly fascinated uh, with that. So, go ahead, Victoria, your strawberry bit. Oh, so that was your strawberry bit. <laughs> My strawberry bit. That was it, was it? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, my strawberry bit. Wow, there's been some goody questions. Um, my strawberry bit was probably happy, happy, joy, joy. Because I love that when he showed me that years ago. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you to whoever's question that was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cool. Excellent. And it's great. You're all putting in that. your strawberry That's wonderful, bits, guys. daydreams. That was a goodie as Bacon. well. The difference between the distinction between daydreams and feeling it real. I love the distinction with about I create wealth while doing what I love. Yep. Rather than doing what I love. I really love that. Yeah. So loads of goodie ones in today's show. Um, meanwhile, go to freenable.com. 221 email list, right? Mm. <laughs> Why not? Right? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Bang. Join our 90 day adventure at manifestingmasterycost.com. It's a buck a day, right? Mm. Less than half of a cheap ass donut, from what they tell me. All right, 90 day program. So it's $97, all that good stuff. And uh, mm. I'm getting breaking all the rules as usual. I'm not <laughs> supposed to tell them that because some people won't go. Say, he wants to take my 100 bucks. <laughs> yeah, right. Whatever. <laughs> and. Yeah. Think of, it, think of it this way. If you email me once every seven days and I email you back once every seven days in a 90 day program, how many emails is that? That's like 12, right? Something like that? 13. Yeah, 13. 13 emails. Well, right? So if yeah. you're emailing and they're emailing, that's 26 emails in total. Yeah, okay, so I read yours, yours, I send mine. Yeah. So so that's like, you know, God, when's the last time, I mean, like for $97, all those you emails. You can have. A, what person talked to you 12 times <laughs> yeah I'll, yeah i'll actually like chat back right yeah. into it bo boom nice to see you pal oh cool nice. it's a bo's question we just did yep cool hope Excellent. you heard it great yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. and for refunds go to our youtube channel <laughs> philatrealfund.com that's right yeah carlene best 97 bucks you could ever spend Hoop. yeah uh. totally agree yeah <laughs>
it. I didn't even charge her for it. <laughs> no, you didn't. I got it for free. <laughs> she got it for free. <laughs> See, you got to remember something. Anything that we do is our experience. So I'm always lab rat number one. Yes. <laughs> she's always lab rat number two. Right? Yeah. So if you ever look at her some days and you go, boy, she's looking road hard and put away wet. <laughs> she's had a bad night in the maze. <laughs> That's still, right. Still didn't what find the cheese. What are you talking cheese. about, Twenty? Still didn't find the cheese. <laughs> cool. Uh, oh, I, have and, a great day, and, night, and, weekend. And you, um, and you never look road hard put away wet, just to be clear. Oh, thank you, Babs. It's true. <laughs> Except for that once. Is that right? <laughs>